It's time for Stories from the Heart with Carolyn Mark. Hello, beautiful friends. We are so happy to be here with you once again. In fact, we are so happy to be with you at Kardec Radio for Kids that our hearts are smiling so, so much that we hope you can feel the love because the love always feels good. And speaking of love, today we are going to have a new adventure in the land of loving hearts. Yippee! <laughs> yeah, you heard it right. It is the land of loving hearts and a special friend is coming to guide us through this beautiful new land. Oh, really? Would you like to meet our special, beautiful new friend? I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready. Set ready and go. Sweetheart the Bear in the Land of Loving Hearts Once upon a time in the Land of Loving Hearts, there was a bear whose heart was so sweet that everybody called her Sweetheart. Her heart was most definitely sweeter than most because she spent her days collecting the hearts coming from other people's loving thoughts and feelings in order to make sure that everyone in the land of loving hearts felt truly loved and appreciated. So Sweetheart the Bear collected orange hearts from those who felt thankful, yellow hearts from those who felt kindness, purple hearts from those who felt inspired, green hearts from those who felt encouraged, red hearts from those who felt love for others and for themselves, and pink hearts from those who felt joyful. On an average day, Sweetheart the Bear collected all the colors of the rainbow. The more she collected hearts, the sweeter her heart got, because she didn't think of herself only. First and foremost, she thought of how she could share encouragement, inspiration, kindness, joy, and love with the other bears by sending all of those hearts their way. There was so much love and joy floating around the air, so many hearts for Sweetheart the Bear to share, that one day she felt a little overwhelmed. She said, Oh dear, oh my! How am I ever going to collect all of these hearts, all of this love, all by myself? But I mustn't give up. I must go on in order not to disappoint all the bears in the land of loving hearts. So as Sweetheart ran around trying to catch her breath as she reached for more and more and more and more hearts, she saw her friends lining up with bags filled with hearts, saying, Take a break, sweetheart. Let us send you a heart your way. We're so thankful for all you do that we collected all the orange hearts just for you. Let's give you a hand and collect the others, too. Oh, wow! You guys are super, super, super loving, loving, loving bears! You make the land of loving hearts filled with love. Thank you so much! Oh, thank you for filling our hearts with the joy of helping and sharing, because that's how we show you how much we love you. I had trouble asking for help before, but now I know that accepting help is another way to accept love. I love you guys! So from that day on, the land of loving hearts became even more joyful, because no bear saw themselves as more or less important than the other one. Everyone offered each other help by collecting all the hearts they could find. Then, everyone's loving hearts became one. Oh, wow! I feel the love in my heart. Do you feel the love in your heart? I have a rainbow of hearts around me now. Right now, we are sending you guys a rainbow of hearts your way. And you know how we can collect more and more love? By sharing it! Yay! How beautiful is that? Yeah, we can think of sharing thankfulness. Those are the orange hearts, right? We can think about sharing kindness. Those are the yellow hearts. We can think about sharing inspiration. 
Those are the purple hearts. We can think about sharing encouragement, encouraging other people, help and giving other people a good word. Green hearts. We can think about love for others and ourselves. Red hearts. We can think about joy. Pink hearts. We might even think about more colors we didn't even mention. And did you know that offering help to others is also a way of sharing and accepting love? Ah. Isn't that beautiful? What that's sweetheart true. learned? She wanted to do it all by herself, but then she learned that asking for help is a way to open her heart for more love. You know, the other thing I learned from this story, Sweetheart the Bear was so, 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 so careful and so hardworking in doing what she loved to do, which was collect the hearts, because, you know, she felt good about doing the benefit for everybody else. And so she started collecting all the hearts, collecting all the hearts, and she loved to do it. She never expected anything in return. That's right. She did it out of an open and mm -hmm. sweet heart. No wonder her name is Sweetheart, because the more we love other people, the sweeter our heart gets. That's right, but she, she not only got a really sweet heart, but she got thanked by all the other bears. And so all these orange hearts started flowing around. That's right. And all the other bears started helping her because they saw how much she loved what she did and how much she cared for what she did. Other people started joining her. And we might think about that, you know, if we do something we really, 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 really care about and love, and we do it not just for ourselves, but for other people, Guess what's going to happen? Other people will feel inspired and they will join us and our circle of love will grow ever more. But we have to do it from our hearts. Right, so yeah. the way to allow the circle of love to grow even more is to love what we do so other people feel the love and decide to love others as well. So our own homes and our own communities and our own schools and our own little cities can become like the land of loving hearts. That's what it means to inspire others. That's the word of the day. Wow, inspire. inspire. That means to make other people feel like they need to join you too. To make them excited, you inspire them. But we can only make other people feel excited once we feel excited too. That's right. So how beautiful. The more love we share, the more other people will feel like sharing love too. But it is important to know that we don't have to do it all. We don't have to be perfect. It's perfectly fine to ask for a loving heart to give us a loving hand. How beautiful, right? And now, how about saying your prayer to the most loving heart of them all, so that he, our big brother Jesus, That's him. the one and only, can make all of our hearts sweeter by sharing and opening his loving heart with our little hearts, not only now, but always. Thank you, big brother Jesus, for giving us every day a reason to be thankful because we can thank you so much for the beautiful earth we live in, for the shelter that we have, for the food we receive every day, for the beautiful sunny weather, for the cloudy weather, for the rain that feeds the plants, for everything that we have around us. And we can thank you so much for all the kindness you give us from the beautiful sun that shines every day and sends loving, loving rays of, of, of warmth to us. And we can feel inspired by you because you give us all this beautiful scenery around and all the beautiful blue skies that make us feel like we can do anything. And we can feel encouraged by you because you're such a loving model of doing things of love. And we can pay attention to what you do and try to be like you because you constantly tell us that we can just be like you. All we need to do is love. And we can feel love for others and ourselves 
because by doing great things, we also feel love, we, and we feel loved. And finally, thank you, Big Brother Jesus, for recognizing that there's joy in giving and joy in loving. Big Brother Jesus, thank you so much for this beautiful life that we have and for all of our friends and family. And so be it. So be it! Yay! Thank you, everyone, for all the hearts that you always send us our way. We love you more than our hearts can say, and we send you a beautiful rainbow of light and love and kindness your way every day. So please receive our loving embrace because all of you are beautiful sweethearts in the land of all loving hearts that Big Brother Jesus created on this earth. So we are thankful for the gift of you and until we meet again for another Stories from the Heart with Carol and Mark, we will be sending you new, new waves of loving hearts every single day in every possible way. We love you guys. We love you. Bye. Bye.